Um, so hi, my name is Malone. I am a medical student in London and the founder of a company called Black and Brown Skin. And our mission and vision and ethos is to be able to create a world where black and brown people don't have the quality of their healthcare compromised due to the color of their skin. How can we, one, allow black and brown people to be able to access more skin health information, which is on their skin? So something as simple as if you get a bruise on your skin, how can you get a review or get a picture or get some information about what that should look like, what to do? Because at the moment, it's kind of just here, there, in the air, and guess what happens? Long term, probably like five years from now, I would love that to kind of branch out into other things like maternal health, um, mental health, just kind of a blueprint for providing healthcare for minority communities. The way I got into this space was I co-authored a book called Mind the Gap, which was a book picturing how signs and symptoms present on darker skin tones with a little description on how to identify them. Um, and then now today we're building out an app which allows people to be able to take a picture of their skin. And once they take a picture of their skin, they can get a review from a dermatologist, an esthetician, just any skin health professional. Um, so this will allow people to almost have access to someone like a dermatologist very quickly in their own pocket in two minutes. And in doing that, we'll be providing them with a service that they can trust. Why? Because we put them at the forefront of things as opposed to, say, where you go to a normal hospital and sometimes people feel like they're not receiving the same level of care as other people. At the moment, if you're a black or brown person trying to navigate healthcare, there's loads of different almost drop-off points along that journey. So we essentially are trying to create a system in which there isn't a drop-off point and that you can get better healthcare outcomes if you're a person from these minority backgrounds. Um, and fundamentally, we need this, well, we need my company um, because so many black and brown people are being left behind. Health inequalities in the UK show us this. Um, from mental health to maternal health to dermatology, just all across the world, people are getting left behind. And the longer we continue to leave them behind as our population is becoming diverse, the, prop the, the problem's only gonna get a lot worse. I joined the NHS Clinical Entrepreneur Program in, I think, 2020. And this was at a time, I think I was probably the youngest person on the program at the time. Um, and going into the big world of the NHS and like almost business and innovation, at a young age as well. Um, it was very almost intimidating because I was coming from a medical school background where as a student, you can't talk to the consultant, you can't challenge the consultant, you can't bring your ideas and solutions to the table. But I think one thing the NHS Clinical Entrepreneur Program allowed me, and probably the most beneficial thing to me so far has been the network, meeting people, um, other innovators, other senior leadership in the NHS has been like, more valuable than almost money can buy um, simply because it's it's almost like you find your tribe um, and then you kind of work your way up um, and hopefully one day have an exit like a touch surgery or the big companies you know, associated with the program.